I don't know. I just like it. So we'll ride it as long as it goes. But he's, uh, he's pretty on right now. Everything he's touching is turned into gold. And I think he likes, you know, I mean, he likes playing, obviously, with Nicky and Alex and having the, that um, responsibility. Yeah, I mean, no, because I think they can play. They're, they're interchangeable, and, and, like, we didn't start with them like that, and then we switched halfway through, and, and you know, maybe it makes the other coaches, especially when we're at home, alter their game plan a little bit. So there's a little bit of gamemanship and all of that, and I feel they, they can play with each other. So. Like newbie shots were spread evenly over the three periods, but it seemed like the chances were a lot harder later on when, when they were trying to come back from behind. Yeah, well, and they hit three or four posts. I think we were lucky for a little bit. We were, you know, we had trouble adjusting to what they were doing. And, uh, you know, I, I, in the first period, we made some adjustments. I thought we played a lot better in the second and third than we did in the first. What's the prognosis on Yeah, a week. He said he's had this before and same type of injury, and it's usually a week. Was it when he went in on that icing? I don't know when it happened, but I think, I think that might be it, yeah. That seven fourth goal, I mean, people talk about the one time shot, the saucer pass from Nicky, but set up by some cycle work. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm, it's important uh, for us. I mean, he's so smart. I, I thought he was in the wrong position. But I mean, when you look at it in the replay and you look what we talked about before the beginning of the game, he was in the right position because we wanted to take the puck from one side. And because they surround the puck with four or five guys, get it to the other side, and then and make them run around and, um, you know, evidently he knew what he was doing. What was it like having Cody back and did you manage his, his minutes a little bit while you guys were on the PK? I don't know if we managed his minutes. I haven't seen the minutes yet and Bob's doing all of that, but uh, it's, uh, you know, he's, he's a good player and he's a, he's a veteran in this league that's been successful for 12 years. So, I mean, it's, uh, uh, anytime you can get that back, you sure have missed the experience because we're pretty young in games played back there, you know. So, we were talking about the clean hit and then the fight before. Um, it just seems like the lines are getting so blurry as to when you go on instigator, when not. Did you get any explanation on that? I didn't really get it. That's what I asked. I mean, uh, I thought there was distance traveled, and he traveled a long ways. I mean, uh, I guess the the thing that didn't make it is Brad's was saw him coming was ready for it, but it's because the guy traveled so far. I just I said I don't care if it's an instigator. I just thought that it was a clean hit and a good hit, and the guy didn't get hurt and and whatever. That this guy came and started the fight. Give him an extra two or something. Like I mean, just to, uh, I thought would have been the right the right call. But I mean, if he didn't he didn't see it, he didn't see it. Well, he, last year at this time, we had uh, 16 games played. He had three goals. I think we played 16 games. He's got three goals. So he's on a 29 goal pace in my book. <laughs> I think Brooks Light has said at one point that it's not New York. It's, it's having a shaky period, first period. It's, it's the team in front of him. Where do you kind of balance that? Because it did look like he would, it just seems like he kicks out more rebounds in the first period than he does the rest of the game. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I'll have to talk and give Archie hell for that. But I mean, uh, uh, he does look like as the more importance the game gets on, then he settles down and buckles down too. So I mean, it's like the rest of the team. I mean, but I sure would like to get out of the funk of, of having the first periods where you're having to fight from behind all night long. I mean, it's, uh, it's something we don't really want to do. We'd like to get the lead and be able to put a stranglehold on people, but we haven't have, had the opportunity to do that lately. Can you talk a little bit about the response in the second period after the game with the team against the league? I mean, had 17 goals in the last six games, in the last, uh, I guess, six second period, so nice response by you guys. Yeah, well, they got crap in between periods, and they came out and, you know, we weren't playing properly. I mean, it's... Uh, when we're getting it in and only one man is going, it's easy for their D to get it and move it out, and we're caught in between. But the first 10 minutes of the second period, we had two men. We, you know, we changed some tactics up against a 
their neutral zone and <clears throat> and, and it worked. I think we tired at the end of the second period because you know we were four checking pretty hard the first half. So it's uh, uh, you know, but it's it's something you get used to. I think they play a really solid game. But I was trying to make an analogy that it's like in baseball. Um, you go through the lineup once, you know, and the batters come the second time and they know what to expect. I mean, I don't know if we'll know how to beat it or, or what the next time we play it, but it's, it was, it was uh, pretty tough to, to get through their neutral zone in the first period.